Welcome back. We are here looking at the indexes, uh, the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, and the Nasdaq. And this is going to be my daily forecast for the indexes for Friday, uh, October 9, 2020. If you'd like to support the channel, you would welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So the S&P 500 did rally um, around 0.37% uh, uh, today. Not a big rally. And the main reason is that we the markets are technically waiting for additional stimulus. And I don't want to be very bleak here, but that is something that probably won't happen before the election. And it most likely won't happen until January when we basically get a new president. So Donald Trump did a really good job basically screwing up the uh, negotiations for the new stimulus package. And at this point, it is nearly impossible for the Democrats and the Republicans uh, to uh, go back to the negotiating table and as well to get Donald Trump on board with a new stimulus bill. And the reason why I say there probably won't be a stimulus bill until January is because he will most likely lose the election and he will not have any interest of basically doing any work whatsoever uh, when he loses and especially not to help the incoming uh, administration with any new uh, stimulus bill. So post-election will be really chaotic and it will be interesting what basically happens with this market ap uh, basically after the elections. So if we look at the technical indicators for the, the S&P 500, then they are looking quite promising. Uh, MACD is looking really happy, really bullish. And the same is for the RSI. However, the stochastic is showing signs of weakness and that it is basically about to turn around and head for the downside. The Bollinger Band could also give indication that we are basically at the top of the Bollinger Band and it could also uh, be heading uh, south. Um, if that were the case, then we found a lot of support at the 20 exponential moving average the last time we broke down. Um, if we were to break down towards uh, through the 50 moving average and these exponential moving averages, then of course we will go and test this 100 moving average at $3,253. To the upside, we basically have this area which at the moment is significant resistant and which I don't expect us to get through without additional stimulus. We may, anything can happen, but it would not make a lot of sense because this market would love another stimulus bill. And if this market basically it grinds to the upside without a stimulus bill, then there will be no uh, no reason for this market to ask for one. So, so we most likely will just stay within this area here for the foreseeable future. Some really bad news like no stimulus bill whatsoever will probably hurt this market significantly to the downside. So, if you look at the Dow Jones, Dow Jones has also rallied from uh, the bottom here. We have rallied uh, now around 7.12% within that last uh, two trading weeks. And uh, that is quite a nice run for the Dow Jones. If we look at the technical indicators, they're very similar to the S&P 100. MACD, RSI, looking really healthy, very bullish. The uh, stochastic is showing sign of weakness and that is ready to turn around. And the Bollinger Band is showing that we probably have one more good day before we head south. And if we head south, we most likely found uh, uh, support at the 20 exponential moving average, the 50 moving average, 
Uh, and if we break all of this uh, support here, we'll head towards the 100 moving average. We are uh, at an area that previously has been resistant and we need to get through this area. I just don't expect this to happen without a stimulus bill. So if you look at the NASDAQ, the interesting with the NASDAQ at this point is that we have made a double top here, which usually is very uh, a bearish sign. So we have a hard, a lot of problems getting through this area of 11,500, uh, getting above that. Um, at this point, I do believe that we'll pull back. Uh, we may break through here when news comes out that there will be no stimulus, if that is the case. Then we may break further down towards this area of, uh, of uh, the 100 moving average, which is there. Uh, 10,733. Uh, otherwise, I do expect us just to stay within this area for the foreseeable future. A break through this uh, resistance line to the upside, then we'll go to the all-time highs. That just don't make any sense without additional stimulus. So, hope you find this uh, video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscriber button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Uh, good luck training and thank you very much.